a farming initiative in New Jersey that is combining two good causes. First, farming responsibly, but second and perhaps more important, turning to the autistic community for help. A hydroponic farm in the Garden State employing adults with autism, a group often underserved, but now serving up fresh produce for local restaurants. Here's Iowa News reporter Stefan Kim. It's an ebb and flow system. Twice a day for five minutes, we fill the trays up with water and then we drain them away five minutes later. This is a hydroponic vertical farm, the latest to sprout in the Garden State. The roots drain are, and are soaked in the water that's continuously circulating with the nutrition that the plants need. It's called Greens Do Good in Hackensack. And yes, they grow basil, lettuce, and kale. And no, they do not use pesticides. The business model is to go into inner cities, often neglected, overlooked communities, and provide very fresh, very nutritious, locally produced food. But they're also serving another often overlooked community, a group that is chronically underemployed, adults with autism. Jill Nadison is the executive director of Read Next, the nonprofit organization providing the almost dozen employees at this farm. Many, many thousands of adults with autism need that daily life support. And if they don't have that support, that means that their life skills that they have been working on, such as making a sandwich, getting dressed in the morning, or even communication and language, can literally disappear. In fact, all the profits from this farm are also going to read next. As for the produce, it's being sold to local restaurants and businesses. This is a lot more than traditional agriculture can produce on a square footage basis. New Jersey, by the way, has the highest rate of autism in the nation.